upon your users to choose what matrix to see like sales total customers total orders something like this let me show you how to achieve this first you have to create a new table with the matrix name here i have already created the table with sales total customers and total orders you can add other matrix if you want to show it next add a slicer to your report and use this new table as a source i will add a slicer over here and i will call the column matrix which we created i will adjust it accordingly and here what i will do is i will convert it to i now next we will creating our measure so you will have to create a measure using selected value before that i will create a new measure i will click on this three dots click on new measure and here i will name it as dynamic measure is equal to so first i will call a variable variable a and in this variable i will call the selected value which is being selected from the slicer selected value from matrix table then i will return a switch statement here i will call the variable and if the variable is sales i want a measure which i have already created total sales if the variable is total orders again i have created a measure for total orders and if the variable is total customer for this i haven't created a measure so i will directly do the calculation over here i will do distinct count of customer id I will close the packet click on okay now what i will do i will add this to a card so i will add a card over here let's adjust it accordingly and add the matrix which we created here you can see it is only showing blank now because none of the value has been selected from this slicer so i will click on sales so you can see we are getting the sales value we are also getting the total customers and the total orders now here's a quick tip for this you can also add a card visual to show the selected matrix name for example is it sales or total customers or total orders it gives users clear feedback